good morning students now you have studied in transpiration chapter about ganon's photometer which is used for showing the rate of transpiration so as you see this setup this is ganon's photometer it is a glass apparatus now in this photometer it shows the rate of it demonstrates the rate of transpiration so a cut twig is inserted at this end of the photometer which is fashioned in the form of a test tube now the straight part of the photometer this is the capillary tube and this is graduated now this represents the reservoir the reservoir is filled with water and this is used for restarting the experiment to get the reading fresh reading for the experiment now here in the beaker the what this posterior end of the photometer is kept dipped in a beaker containing colored water now for starting the experiment the this end of the photometer has to be lifted above the level of water so that air enters into the capillary tube and this is inserted back into the beaker so that the air gets trapped in the capillary tube now to remove the excess air from the capillary tube that is there will be more than one air bubble forming so to remove the extra air bubbles the tap of this reservoir is open to allow the water to flow into the graduated tube which will push the air bubble towards the beaker and as soon as the air bubbles are eliminated except one the reservoir tap is closed <coughs> it is close to these to start the experiment now what is the observation the air bubble which is trapped in the capillary tube that moves forward okay so why does it move forward because the twig loses water by transpiration and that creates a suction force causing the twig to absorb water from the tube from the capillary tube of the photometer and that causes the air bubble to move forward now as the air bubble reaches the say the zero mark of the capillary tube a stopwatch is started to note down the to note the time being taken and the time taken by the air bubble to travel a certain length of the capillary tube that is noted down and the time in which the, cap the air bubble travels that distance will give the rate of transpiration that is actually the rate of water absorption or water uptake but it uh, you have already studied that rate of transpiration is equivalent to rate of absorption and so it gives the approximate rate of transpiration now when you have to take the next reading a fresh reading the reservoir is open to allow water to flow into the capillary tube and that will pass that will the water will pass pushing the air bubble backwards and as soon as it reaches the original point zero mark again the reservoir is closed and the experiment is restarted so like this the ganon's photometer is used to measure the rate of transpiration